All of the Disney Skyliner gondolas running to and from Disney's Hollywood Studios have just been unwrapped, revealing a multitude of new character gondola designs you're going to want to see. My name is Brayden, and this is your breaking Mickey Views News. All who come to this happy place, welcome. Now I'm the king of the swingers. Our largest expansion ever. We're not just building one of these, we're building two. Well, here I was planning on making an Epcot video, kind of a slow news week, and then bam, we wake up this morning to every single Disney Skyliner gondola, these ghostly mystery cabins we've been seeing run on the Hollywood Studios line since last year, all having their coverings removed to reveal some beautiful colors with the regular gondolas and a ton of new character wraps never seen before. So diving right in, we're going to go color by color through all of the character gondolas that have just been revealed so you can see who's on which gondola, how they look, which characters are included, what they're doing in each design, all of that, so let's dive right in. First up, starting with the red gondolas, we've got the first gondola we ever laid eyes on, with Parks Chairman Bob Chapek there, standing next to the unveiling of it at the Destination D event in Walt Disney World late last year. It appears that exact same gondola is now airborne on the system itself, as you can see in these photos from blog Mickey. On the gondola, you've got Mickey and Minnie front and center in their modern animation style with Pluto on the side. Next up, we've got a Pirates of the Caribbean themed gondola featuring the prison scene from the attraction in a 2000s style Disney animation illustration. Looks really good, very 3D and dynamic. You've got the pirates on the short side there trying to lure the dog over, the dog with the keys being on the wide section of the gondola. On the other side, on the reverse side, the other long side, you've got some treasure and a pirate skeleton holding a sword right out of the gondola. Great detail and design there. On to the next red gondola, we've got Ralph Breaks the Internet characters with Ralph and Vanellope on the short side, where if you notice, Ralph has taken the Skyliner logo off of his vehicle and actually ripped it in half. So cool, such great detail there. You've also got all those Wreck-It Ralph 2 characters on the long side, so we're seeing some sequel love here as well. Moving right along to the light orange colored character gondolas that have just been revealed for the first time ever. As you can see in this beautiful photo from blog Mickey, we've got the Coco characters, the entire familia on the long side of the Skyliner vehicle, and then front and center, we have Miguel himself and his dog Dante, such a great detail there. Another light orange character gondola we got features Star Wars characters in this unique 2D animation style, featuring C-3PO and R2-D2 on the side, and then Chewie is on the elongated section with a bunch of porgs. If you notice in the background, it looks like they're going in light speed, which I thought was a cool touch here. The odd thing here is Chewie has his hands extending out of the gondola car, but unlike all the other designs we've seen so far where the characters are reaching out, there are no shadows under his arm, so it doesn't really pop out or look 3D like it does with the other ones we've seen, likely due to Disney going with a 2D drawing style with this design in particular. Also in light orange, we've got of all the characters to put on a light orange gondola, we have Stitch, who you think would be on a blue one, uh, but no, he is on this light orange one here. On the long side, it looks like he is climbing out of one of the already infamous air vents, passive cooling air vents there uh, that Disney has chosen to go with instead of air conditioning on the system. We'll see how those work out. And then on the side, you can see Stitch is licking the window. And then there are a bunch of paw prints in the background. Last in light orange, we've got all your favorite Toy Story characters out to play in the regular Pixar animation style. I really like the look of this one. Here's where things start to get weird though. There are actually two of this exact same Toy Story character design. Moving now right along to the regular orange gondolas, you can see here we have this identical character design again, but in a darker shade of orange. And this isn't the same photo with two different exposures. This is actually two completely different colors. So does this break Disney's rule about not having multiples of characters in the same line of sight of the guests? Let me know what you guys think, given that it's the exact same characters with just different colored gondolas. Are these going to be close to each other? Or does Disney make sure they're separated on the line? They're on opposite ends? Probably, I think Disney wants to have multiple of the same character but have enough variety so that way you actually see the characters you want to more often. You don't have to wait for the entire system to go through a cycle but they also don't want a bunch of the same character bunched in one spot on the track so I bet there's a lot of thought that's gone behind how they're ordered. Let me know what you guys think about that design decision Disney chose to go with there. Looks awesome nonetheless. Also in orange we've got Finding Nemo featuring the School of Friends on the long side and Dory and Nemo on the short side. If you're noticing the trend where the main characters are going on the short side 
while the side characters are going on the long portion, the philosophy here, I think most of the time when you're seeing these gondolas, unless you're actually on them, you're going to be seeing them from the short sides, from the sides of the gondola where you're looking towards the system as they're going by. So putting the main characters there on the sides, that's how you're going to see them from the ground. So when you're walking towards Hollywood Studios and you're in the parking lot and you're looking over at the system, you'll see all those main characters first. Also, we've got another orange gondola, this time featuring Peter Pan characters in their more recent but also timeless animation style. Notice the shadows over the sides of the Skyliner to make the character uh, pointing out there look 3D. Uh, what we didn't see with the Chewy one, so it's interesting to see how some of these are 3D, some of them are 2D. Next up, we've got the yellow gondolas, starting with Beauty and the Beast. We're on the short side, you've got, well, Beauty and the Beast, along with Lumiere and Cogsworth on the long side. Lumiere's candlelight glow, you might notice, is actually bouncing off of the Skyliner itself. Such a cool touch there. Next, we've got a yellow rendition of the only character gondola we've seen on the line before today, where earlier this week, we saw Goofy and Pete on this green gondola as one of the wraps accidentally came off in a storm. Uh, now they're all off, thankfully. I think that might have actually uh, made Disney's decision there to just take them all off, so they sort of had this uh, fun moment where we could see all of them at once. So you'll notice we already had this green version of this character design. Now there's also a yellow version on the line, so we have another duplicate of characters here where they have multiple of the same design on the same line, the Hollywood Studios line, uh, but they're also in different colored vehicles, so they're not exactly the same design-wise. They are different colors. Also, sometimes I just notice these things that I want to let Disney know. Disney could fix this in five seconds with a pin, but if you look closely at Pete in this new yellow version of the design, you'll notice that there are air bubbles all around him where the vinyl decal here was improperly applied to the vehicle itself, and there was some air trapped in between the decal and the glass itself, so Disney should definitely go pop those out. To be fair, that's the only gondola design out of all of these where I noticed that issue with the application of the vinyl itself, and we're talking about literally thousands of individual pieces of decal here uh, that we're looking at, so pretty good quality control if that's the only one that has a few bubbles, if you put that all into perspective. Last in yellow gondolas, we've got a Winnie the Pooh one uh, featuring Winnie the Pooh characters. Uh, not only do we have the characters in their classic animation style with a little 3D touch added to it, we've also got the pot of honey in attendance, very fitting uh, with the color of the gondola itself. Next up, one of my favorites for sure, we've got our first green gondola. This color, first off, just looks so good right off the bat, but also, as you can see here for characters, we've got Donald and Daisy, as well as Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Uh, who could ask for more? If you look closely, Donald is holding a Walt Disney World Park map and trying to read it sideways. I love all these little details. The other green gondola blog Mickey got photos of is of this Zootopia gondola featuring Nick and Judy and a bunch of other characters from the Zootopia world. At the very least, Disney making these characters a gondola means that they might have some sort of future in the parks, whether that's just meet and greets, whether it's just being in parades or a Zootopia land. Notice we also had a Coco one, and we've been hearing a lot of rumors about a Coco ride for a long time. And speaking of newer properties, Disney might be looking to put in the parks, appearing on these gondolas. Moving on to the teal gondolas, we've got a Moana design here. I have a feeling that there are going to be plenty of Moana fans out there that'll be requesting to wait to ride this gondola in particular. Probably a request that cast members will be able to fulfill when things aren't too busy. Also in teal, we've got a frozen gondola. Let me know what you guys think. And speaking of new properties coming to Walt Disney World, we've got a teal Ratatouille gondola featuring Remy in the classic Pixar style. Awesome stuff there. Now we've got a big one. We've got a blue gondola vehicle with Marvel characters on it, which is pretty significant. Uh, the fact that, you know, there's been this huge history of Disney not being able to put Marvel stuff in the parks with the Universal Marvel contract, which is still in effect. There are some loopholes, one of those being Guardians. And here you can see on this design, we have Groot, Rocket Raccoon, Star-Lord, and Gamora in this very odd illustration style. I haven't seen the characters in before in the comics or live action. They do look hand-drawn, yet slightly dimensional, which I think is what Disney's goal was here with the design in most of these. So it looks like they're kind of reaching out and they're interacting with the actual gondola car itself. We've also got I'm Mary Poppins y'all himself on the other side. Notice Star-Lord also has his music. Great to see. Moving on to purple, we are going to save the best gondola design of all of them, in my opinion, for last. But first in purple gondolas, we've got the Seven Dwarfs with Snow White there as well. Lots of gems in that gondola. Next up, we have a Monsters, Inc. gondola where we have Mike and Sully there. This one, I think, looks really good. I think the Pixar ones stand out in particular because they simply look the best in how they're designed and illustrated. Pixar definitely had a hand in designing those. You can just tell because they just look absolutely incredible 
incredible. And then last up, you've been waiting for it, we have the Haunted Mansion Disney Skyliner Gondola Car, complete on the short side with the hitchhiking ghosts in all their glory. Disney has been teasing this gondola design in particular since the first concept art we got way back at the D23 Expo announcement of the Disney Skyliner system in 2017. And then on the first long side, we've got the ghosts getting out of their grave with the black crow on top. And then on the other side, we've got Madame Leota. This design is simply amazing as it is with most of these. Awesome, awesome job, Disney. You knocked it out of the park. Let me know your thoughts on all of these. That's all for this episode of Mickey Views News. Be sure to subscribe to that notification bell on so you never miss any of these awesome breaking Disney news videos. This one was so much fun to make. We've also got some awesome t-shirts for sale starting at under $20. Link in the description below. Thank you so much to everyone who's been ordering the shirts. You can support us directly via Patreon, uh, which is monthly, and you can get a special credit at the end of all these videos, or you can just drop me a one-time tip over on the PayPal link, which is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. From the Mickey Views Magic Studio, I'm Braden Holness. Have a magical day.